Romans 4, verse 1 to 8, verse 1 and 2. What shall we say then, that Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh has found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he has word of the glory, but not before God. If Abraham were justified by the works of the law, he has word of the glory, but not before God, because he was not justified by the works of the law, as verse 3 of Romans 4 explains. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for the work of God, which is righteousness. As it is written, After these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir. But he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord. And he counted it to him for righteousness. Verse 4 of Romans 4. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Now to him that does the works of the law to be justified is the reward of the inheritance not reckoned of mercy, but of debt. As it is written, he is a debtor to do the whole law. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. As many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Verse 5 of Romans 4 But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. But to him that does not do the works of the law to be justified, but believes on him that justifies the ungodly. As it is written, When we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Verse 5 of Romans 4 But to him that does not do the works of the law to be justified, but believes on Jesus Christ that justifies the ungodly. His faith is counted for the work of God. As it is written, Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he has sent. Verse 6-8 to eight of Romans 4 
even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Even as David describes the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes the work of faith without the works of the law, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. As it is written, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Christ. Again, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the faith of Christ. Amen.